Experiencing issues with your joystick on Windows 11 can be frustrating, especially when you're eager to dive into your favorite games. Whether your device isn't recognized, buttons aren't responding, or calibration seems off, these problems are more common than you might think. In this video, we'll walk you through simple, effective steps to troubleshoot and resolve joystick issues on Windows 11 so you can get back to seamless gaming in no time. Click the Start button and type Device Manager in the search bar. Click on it when it appears. Now look through the list. If it's an audio issue, expand Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. For graphics, expand Display Adapters. Right-click on the device name, like Realtek Audio or NVIDIA Graphics. Choose Update Driver from the menu. When a new window pops up, click Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will now look for the latest version and install it if found. When it's done, make sure to restart your computer. Let's run the DISM tool to fix your Windows image. Click the Start button, type CMD, then right-click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Click Yes if prompted. Now type this command, DISM, space, forward slash, online, space, forward slash, cleanup, dash image, space, forward slash, restore health, then press Enter. This tool checks for problems in the Windows image and tries to repair it. The scan may take a while. Let it finish fully. Once done, restart your computer. To restart your computer, click the Start button at the bottom left corner. Then, click the Power icon. Now, select Restart. Your PC will shut down and power back up automatically. If your system started acting up after a recent change, removing the last update or app might help. First, right-click on the Start button and choose Settings. In Settings, click Apps from the left side. Then click Installed Apps. Here you'll see a list of all installed programs and when they were installed. If you see something you recently added, click the three dots next to it, then choose Uninstall. To remove updates, go back and click Windows Update, then Update History, and scroll down to Uninstall Updates. Click it, pick the latest one, and hit Uninstall. Let's run the Windows Troubleshooter together. First, right-click on the Start button at the bottom left corner of your screen. Now click on Settings from the menu. In the window that opens, click on System from the left sidebar. Scroll down and click Troubleshoot, then click Other Troubleshooters. Choose the one that fits your issue and click Run. I will choose Audio and Get Help Pages opened. Follow the instructions to resolve the issue. Let's run the system file checker. Click the start button and type CMD in the search box. Right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. If you see a prompt, click yes. Now type this command, SFC space forward slash scan now, then hit enter. Windows will start scanning for missing or damaged system files. Just wait until it reaches 100%. If it finds issues, it'll try to fix them automatically. Once it's done, restart your PC.